country. England. What is your occupation? I kill people. You have a nasty habit of surviving. And what business is that? I help people with problems. Problem solver. More of a problem eliminator. <laughs> Who are you? The name is Bond. 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 James Bond. A rare challenge, Mr. Bond. You've come a very long way to die, Mr. Bond. Operatives must often use every means at their disposal to achieve their objectives. Things we do for England. Carry on. I've always been interested in the rise and fall of civilizations and preventing the downfall of ours. Remember, if it hadn't been for Q Branch, you'd have been dead long ago. Can you swim? going to have dinner in London. I'd ask you to join us, Mr. Bond, but why waste caviar on a man who won't live long enough to enjoy it? <laughs> I might as well ask you if all the vodka martinis ever silenced the screams of all the men you've killed. What if you find forgiveness in the arms of all those willing women for all the dead ones you failed to protect? You don't trust anyone, do you, James? Sometimes we're so focused on our enemies, we forget to watch our friends. James, please, be careful. <laughs> Cherish this moment as it will be your last. How much do you know about Bond? Because he's rather a tragic case. Because MI6 says he's difficult to control. Nice way of saying that everything he touches seems to wither and die. You see, Mr. Bond, you can't kill my dreams, but my dreams can kill you. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. It doesn't bother you killing those people. Well, I wouldn't be very good at my job if you did. The death and destruction you leave in your wake. You've led us all around the world. Why 
do you do this, Mr. Bond? Why risk your life for a country who will deny you ever existed? Who would even send flowers to your unmarked gravestone? For England, James. No. For me. Wait! How long have I gone? 30 seconds. I just need a little more time. Well played, Mr. Bond.